Okay, so what we have here is a simple, approximately, probably 15 programming blocks that we've used to build an NXT program that's going to be downloaded to two NXT uh, robots that are going to be participating in a tug of war. Each one of the robots has a vernier, vernier dual range force sensor connected to it and each of the hooks from the front of the dual range force sensors is attached uh, using a string. Looking at this program, the first block of our program is a weight block that's set up to wait for a certain sound level to trigger the program. The reason we're doing that is uh, it's most effective if both of the robots participating in the tug of war start at the exact same time. Trying to get each of the buttons on each brick to be pressed at the same time to make it a fair tug of war is challenging. So what we can do is we can download this program onto each robot, start the program on each robot, and it, the program will effectively pause at this first block until each robot hears someone make a loud noise like to yell, begin, tug of war, go, or clapping hands maybe. Um, that way each robot will start you know, at the same fraction of a second. The next block is a pause for one second. And then we have a series of one, two, three sound blocks just thrown in there for fun, just kind of announcing the beginning of this tug of war between two robots using the vernier sensors. The first move block in this program is a move block set at the lowest power that's going to be used throughout this program, that's power 25, for a duration of three seconds with the next action setting set to break. Following that, we have a pause for half second. And then we have our second move block in the program, which is set to power 50 for a duration of two seconds, also with the next action set to break on that move block in the detail configuration panel there at the bottom of the screen. And then the next block after that is simply a wait block with the time interval set to half second. Our next move block is set with the power to 75 a duration of two seconds, and the next action set to break. After that, we have another wait block set for a duration of 0.5 seconds. We then have our final move block, which is a move block for two seconds set at power 100, and then our program ends with a pause for half second and two sound files. Um, added to the end of the program to uh, just signal the end of our of our of our tug of war between the bots. Okay, so here we're set up to use two NXT robots, each running the same program. Um, each of the robot has a vernier dual range force sensor connected to the front of the robot. Each of those two sensors are connected by a string. And then we have the NXT connected to uh, an interface that allows us to connect the sensor to the uh, logger light software that's running on the computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the program on each one of the bots. So the program is running right now, and if it senses a certain sound level above a certain number of decibels, the, the program will start running on each robot. Um, one thing that you might want to do before you start this or at about this point is you can go into the logger light software and under the ex um, experiment setting you can go down and zero out the sensor so that we're starting really close to zero newtons when we start this uh, tug of war between the robots. So when I clap my hands the program that's running on each one of the robots will start um, running a tug of war. All right, we're seeing some force at a higher level, a little more. Excellent.